So our mobile app is called Legends of the North. It's an app for crowdsourcing data in the Inupiaq community, which is uh, northern Alaska. Um, so things like uh, ice flows, um, thin ice, migration patterns, things that are information that's only privy to the locals there, uh, this app would help them, I guess, using crowdsource, crowdsourcing, uh, it would help people, I mean, researchers gain that information. And it's, an, it's like a gaming app, so it also it has incentives for them to, I guess, upload pictures, videos, and things like that. The aim um, is to develop a game that will motivate young hunters to collect environmental, environmental data. So again, like pictures of ice flows and classify the data in the Inupiaq language together with their elders and whaling captains and share the, their findings with scientists. All right, so this is our app and it's called Legends of the North. And you have an option to sign in if you've already created an account. And here you have a personalized dashboard where you can set your status, which is where you are. Technical difficulties. It's not working. Why is it on the other? Okay, so Okay, so let's just skip these steps. And this is your personalized dashboard where you can set your status to let others know where you are to make sure that you're not lost and they have an idea of where you are in general and what you're doing. So let's say I'm a young person, which I am, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going hunting. So I can click where I'm going and I want to go, let's say, to Kiana, right? And I'm hunting caribou because it's my first time out hunting. And I can click different things to make sure that I get a personalized update of what to look out for. So let's say I were to submit that file. I have different notifications. So I wanted to go to this city to hunt caribou. But seeing that there are no caribou there and they're all down here, I must reroute. So I can start my trip, get a map that's ready to go, and I can take photos for NASA scientists to get a good idea of what's around, what's going on, and once that happens, I can go wherever I need to, take more photos, but someone has posted a warning that there's a blizzard around. So I'm going to dismiss that because that's close to the city that I did not want to go to. So I'm almost done and, <laughs> and I can go back to the dashboard. So, so um, this app can be used by anyone in the Nubia community. So for instance, I'll play the role of a skinner. Say someone has um, a seal and um, they bring it to me to skin. and. Um, you know, I might skin it for a good price or whatever. But there's also um, a way for people to teach. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, you can finish your sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's um, a how-to feature. You can create videos to teach people, other people how to do stuff like skinning, seals, um, basically for the elders to help the youngers learn um, tips and tricks. What, what was the uh, inspiration for the project? Like, um, I don't know. We took the Arctic game challenge, so that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, it, it seems um, 
because it is directed towards this specific population, it seems like you know it would be, be very personal. Like you guys are are solving a known a known need um. for within these communities. I, um, I don't I don't know much about this particular community. What it, 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 I assume technology adoption is like is like pretty pretty wide widespread. So this yeah. would, this would be something that they would get a lot of value out of. They're already are they using like apps currently to help with hunting patterns and that sort of thing? Well, no. um, it's. We haven't done research on whether or not they're using apps to really find out where the animals are. Yeah. But the thing is, with this app, we can use that to help preserve their culture because a lot of these Native American cultures are dying off because they don't have as many like traditions passed down that start to get lost with integration to the more, like, as you would know, the modern world. So um, taking pictures and making videos to teach people is going to really help them in preserving their culture. Yeah, there's, there's a nice archive component to this as well that, that I think is really cool. Um, I, I have two, two quick questions, or a question and then like a, a feature idea. Um, th th you mentioned it was a game. Is there like a point system or something that you get yeah. for? Um, here, one second. So for instance, you can see achievements. Um, there's a leaderboard, badges, and points. And that's like sort of the incentive for the young ones to use the app as well. Gotcha. OK, so it's the gamification awarding thing. thing. Perfect. Um, so my feature suggestion is it would be really cool if you built in something that was uh, voice recognition. Because you might be out like on the ice or something, and you might say, oh, thin ice. And then you can just say, record thin ice, and then maybe get like a GPS position or something while they're there. But basically, I can imagine while I'm out in the wilderness or I'm doing something, I'd rather just speak into the phone so I don't have to look for a button and select something and push something. So. That's cool, yeah. I just had a, uh, what are your names? Actually? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Zaina. Zaina. I'm Matthew. Matthew. I'm Susan. Susan. Is, this is so wonderful. Um, I actually work with a team to help create this challenge. And what you talked about, it's not a question, just like you know. <laughs> uh, but, that, <laughs> but just what you said about preserving the culture, that was the essence of what they wanted for this challenge and, and what we strive to like articulate in, in the challenge language. So I'm really, really glad to hear that that's, that was what you took to heart when you developed it. And, it, and it's beautiful. So yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.